understanding the phrase captive iguana hello everyone welcome to our english language learning series today we're going to explore a fascinating phrase captive iguana this might sound a bit unusual but it's a great example of how english can use specific words to create vivid images and convey precise meanings Let's dive into what this phrase means and how you can use it in your conversations. Remember, context is key when learning new phrases. Captive iguana is a phrase made up of two distinct words, captive and iguana. Captive refers to someone or something that is confined or held against their will, usually in a space like a cage or a controlled environment. Iguana, on the other hand, is a type of large lizard found primarily in Central and South America, known for its distinctive appearance and behavior. In its literal sense, a captive iguana simply means an iguana that is being held in captivity, perhaps in a zoo or as a pet. This is a straightforward use of the phrase. However, in English, Phrases can also have figurative meanings. If someone uses this phrase metaphorically, they might be referring to a situation where someone feels trapped or restricted, similar to how an iguana might feel in a cage. Let's look at some examples of how captive iguana can be used in sentences. 1. Literal, the zoo's new exhibit features a captive iguana from Brazil. 2. Figurative, ever since he started his new job, he feels like a captive iguana, unable to explore his creative ideas. Notice how the context changes the meaning of the phrase in each example. It's important to understand that phrases like captive iguana can have different connotations based on cultural and contextual factors. In some cultures, the idea of captivity might have negative connotations, while in others, it might be more neutral. Always consider the audience and setting when using such phrases. We hope this video has helped clarify the meaning and use of the phrase, captive iguana. Remember, English is a language rich in imagery and metaphor, and phrases like this one can add color and depth to your conversations. Keep practicing, and you'll soon be using English phrases with confidence and creativity. See you in our next video.